What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at Bargain Wonder Kids. So in case you didn't check out my last video, which is the top and the best Wonder Kids to buy in eFootball's dream team for eFootball 2022, this is a bargain busting episode where we have some amazing players for a fraction of the price in that other video. So we've got 10 players here that I definitely think are worth it. First up, we've got Mengi from Birmingham, center back, 19 years of age, heading and interception is his player skills. Not the fastest, not the best, but for that price, 4,300 GP, you can't go wrong with having him as a sub. Train him up to about level 75 and he'll be a very solid center back that will outperform a lot of players. Similarly, we've got Cowell from the American League. Um, he plays, I think, with San Jose in the American League. I will leave the link of all the players and how to search from in the description below. Uh, but he's 66 overall. But look at his speed. I mean, it's 76 speed, 72 acceleration, speeding bullet. He's a low center of gravity. He's really good player ID in terms of he hasn't got a specific player ID, but his movement style is really, really nice and reminds me of other star strikers in the game. Well worth a punt. Alanga, criminally underrated, criminally undervalued in this game. I mean, just, you only need two stats. Again, yeah, look, it's all about speed. If you are looking for wide positions in this game, you either need to have an insane, insane dribbler with high dribbling stats and tight possession, or you need just pure, outright raw speed. Alanga falls into that category of the raw speed. 79 acceleration. For a player this cheap, this undervalued, this underrated, he's a must for any team. I don't care what team you have. Van der Voort. So a lot of people have been asking me to do a goalkeepers, a bargain goalkeepers list. I am working on it. So I've got seven or eight goalkeepers that I think you should sign. I think Van der Voort is going to be top of that list or near the top of that list. He is incredible. I've had a few people say to me that they've, you know, backed it up and they've trained him up to maybe like mid 70s. And he just gets better and better. Not the tallest, not the fastest, but low punt as his player skill, long throw, can really make a difference if you're starting off with your squad. As similarly, this guy, Hlozek, Hlozek, I am not how pronounce, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but we'll go with that. So apologies to anybody listening, me butchering the name. It's, it's common around here. This guy, again, he doesn't have any remarkable stats, but look at the amount of player skills that he has. And just again, he's just one of these guys that plays so much above his stats. He kind of reminds me of like a really cheap kind of Benzema. That's what he reminds me of with the way he's able to bang them in from anywhere. Jao Pedro. Now this guy, we've, we've talked and I've talked and anyone that will listen, I've been, I've been ringing um, or singing the praises of Leicester's Daka. This guy, João Pedro, is like a budget option for Daka. So if you've enjoyed playing with Daka or you've seen people playing with Daka or you've come up against him, again, this is going to be a very similar experience for half the price, you know, a fraction of the price. 73 speed, 71 acceleration, 67 finishing, which you can all boost up into the mid to high 70s with a couple of training points. Hickey, so left back, we're here now with the Scottish man who's on loan in the Serie A. Again, it's all about the speed, lads. 70 balance, 72 or 74 stamina, apologies. He's got speeding bullet and long ball expert, and he's got 74 speed, 73 acceleration. And again, what you're going to want to do with a, when you're buying a left back, if you're not going to be blowing a lot of GP, if you have GP to spare, I definitely recommend checking out my other video with the top, the, you know, the best wonder kids, because Nuno Mendes is the best left back, I think. But I think he's definitely worth an option too. Elliot, so we could have picked Curtis Jones, we could have picked a couple of other guys that are, that are in around, you know, the 67, 68 to 70 rating. Um, but I think for Elliot's, you know, pure raw base of speed and stats, like his dribble stats, his balance, he's obviously dirt cheap at 12,000 GP for a high enough profile player. He's got so many player skills, they're coming out everywhere. And also on top of that, he's got a really nice like movement style when he moves off the ball on line as well. So he's definitely worth a shout too. Now, another goalkeeper, Thruben. So, so this guy, I'm going to call him Thruben or Thruben. This guy is definitely one of the most under the radar players. I've come up against him once, I think, in a couple of games, and I've never seen anybody else really use him. But look at his stats, right? He's got 200 centimeters, pretty much 199. He doesn't have low punt, which is a bit of a pain but I think that he is for everything else he is definitely worth training up to like maybe 80 overall and he will be a monster goalkeeper until you get your ultimate goalkeeper again similarly this guy on the right wing Doku or Doku whatever way you pronounce it lads I need to work on my pronunciation but this guy 17,000 GP again raw speed now 
I definitely would recommend Alanga. If you're looking at budget here and you're kind of comparing Doku and uh, Alanga, I would definitely be reckon, recommending Alanga. He's criminally underrated and undervalued. But this guy is, is is a monster as well. 81 acceleration. He's just that little bit above that it might be worth the GP if you've got it spare. And again, Saliba. Now, this guy is on loan, as far as I know, from Arsenal. Um, he's back with Marseille. Uh, on loan so he will be with Arsenal quite soon and I think Arsenal fans such as Shales and that will be excited to see this guy in the Premier League because he's just insane in Pez he's one of these guys where I've seen a lot of pro players use him and train him up I've seen a lot of people use him and test him out in different positions right back as well he can play but again very tall very strong very agile um, even though he doesn't have the best stats there and last but not least we have this main man from Bruges so this attacking midfielder, Ketteler, is, again, one of the biggest names in football at the moment as a young player. And he just falls in under the 20,000 GP limit we kind of put on this video for bargain buster deals. Attacking midfielder, if you're trying to buy Pedri or Gavi or one of those guys or Ritz that are on my other uh, video, this guy is a bargain option to that. He's tall, he's strong, he's got great feet, he's got great vision, great passing couple of nice little player id stuff as well in there with the animations that he has but yeah that is it lads for my bargain wonder kids that i definitely think you should buy let me know if you've unearthed any bargains yourselves or any hidden gems and let me know in the comments below and i will talk to you later peace